and God willing, I get to finish this. So the unicorn bucked me and a shadow came past and said, don't look at its horn. So after I asked the Lord about the vision, I said, how come the unicorn was bucking me in my vision? Why was it bucking me every time I looked at it? He said, because you were looking at its horn. Unicorns do not like when you look at their horns. I said, really? He said, yes. And he also told me that they're very, they're, they're not friendly. They're not very friendly. And this, this unicorn was walking beside me and it was walking beside me fine. But every time I looked at it, it, it hit, it bucked me. It was no good to me. If I looked at the horn, it would hit, it would buck me. So it, I looked at it once, it bucked me. I looked at it again, it bucked me. And then a black shadow passed and said, do, do not look at its horn, like a spirit. And um, I pretty much woke up and I asked the Lord about it. And he told me it wasn't a good vision. It was a bad one. It was from the enemy. That was the black, that's what that black spirit came past and was telling me, don't look at its horn. And so right here, a unicorn attacking can warn of problems are coming your way. There may be something fake around you. At that time in my life, I was around a lot of fake people. So he was showing me that the people who were around me were very fake and they were very bad. And this unicorn was walking and guiding me, you know, walking with me. But he said it wasn't good. It was a warning of the people who were around me were not good. And at that time, I was traveling a lot in my life. I was going to Jamaica a lot, and I did have a new relationship. So, um, yeah, this is why I believe in unicorns. I believe unicorns are 100% real because I've seen one, and it bucked me two times. And it wasn't a huge unicorn. It was it was young. It was small. It wasn't pretty big because I'm like 5'11". It, was, um, it wasn't too tall. It was small, but I definitely seen that horn. That's why I kept, I looked at it. I had to take a double take. I'm like, is that a unicorn? But it was cool to see. It was definitely cool to see. But then the Lord told me it wasn't a good vision at the time in my life because it was a warning, but he always shows me pretty cool things. And another thing I want to tell you, um, he did something cool to me um, years ago I had a vision of him I was walking in a field with my mom holding her hand and he made a dove fly on my shoulder and the dove I don't know the force of the dove lift me off my feet and threw me on the ground okay so the Spirit of God descended in a dove and he touched me on my shoulder, that dove, and knocked me off my feet and I fell on the ground. And I think that's the day I got the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I will never forget that vision. It was so cool. I said, this bird, how did this bird lift me off my feet and throw me across the field? <laughs> and yeah, so it was, it was so cool. It was cool. It was pretty amazing. And you're talking about descended into a dove, right? Alright. So we got Matthew 3 and 16. And Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon it. Right? So that was pretty cool. Yep. And now we got Mark 1 and 10. And straightway coming out of the water, he saw the heavens open and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And Luke 3 and 22, and the Holy Spirit, it says Holy Ghost, but it's Holy Spirit descending in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved son, in thee am I well pleased. 
John 1 and 32. And John bare record, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. Yeah, it hit me on my shoulder, it touched me, and then pushed me on the ground. One piece of force that I couldn't see, but it was so cool. And I said, wow, how can a dove take me off my feet and throw me across the field like that? And yeah, that's when I started seeking that at that time. That's when I was seeking the Lord's face and really seeking the Lord's face and searching for many for truths. And that happened many years ago. So um, I hope you guys protect your visions and the Lord is so cool. And I'll magnify him from the rising of the sun to the going down the same. Let the most high's name be praised. You guys have a blessed evening. Hallelujah.